Hi, welcome to this Corbin Mouse video on working out the equation of a tangent. So here we've got a curve, y equals x squared minus x plus 3. And we've been asked to find the equation of the tangent to this curve at the point 415, so at this point here. So I'm actually just going to draw that tangent now. So there's that green line, that tangent. And we've been asked to find the equation of that green line. So to do that, what we need to do first of all is to work out the gradient of the curve at the point 415. And so remember to find the gradient of a curve or a tangent at a curve at a particular point, we first of all need to work out the gradient function dy by dx. So we're going to find dy by dx and we're going to find that by differentiation. So let's differentiate this equation. So differentiating x squared, well bringing the 2 down will give us 2x. Differentiating minus x will be minus 1 and differentiating the plus 3 will just be 0. So the gradient function is dy by dx equals 2x minus 1. So if we want to find the gradient of the curve at that particular point, 415, we're going to substitute in the x value, the 4, into this gradient function. So whenever x equals 4, dy by dx, the gradient of the curve will equal, and therefore the gradient of the tangent will equal, 2 times 4 minus 1. And 2 times 4 minus 1 will be 7. So the gradient of this tangent at the point 415, or the gradient of the tangent at 415, will be 7. So that means that it's got an equation of y equals 7x plus c. Now we need to work out, obviously because it's a straight line, so we're substituting the 7, the gradient, into y equals mx plus c. Now what we're going to do is we want to work out the plus c. And the c is going to be where the green line meets the y-axis, it's the y-intercept. So let's substitute in a point, well this 415, into this equation, this y equals 7x plus c, and we can work out what the c is. So let's write that down. So y equals 7x plus c, and we're going to substitute in the point 415. So that's going to give us, well remember that's x and that's y, so substituting that in will give us 15 equals 7 times x, so 7 times 4 plus c. 7 times 4 is 28, so we've got 15 equals 28 plus c, and subtracting 28 from both sides will give us c equals minus 13. And that's it. So the equation of this green line, the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 415, will be y equals 7x minus 13. And that's it. So to find the equation of a tangent to a curve, you first of all differentiate to get dy by dx, you then substitute in the x value to get the gradient of the curve and therefore the gradient of the tangent at that particular point. You then put that gradient into y equals mx plus c and then substitute in, in the point to get the c value and then that will give you the equation of the tangent. So let's have a look at our second question now. So our second question says a curve has the equation y equals x cubed minus 2x squared plus 10. And we've been asked to work out the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 1, 9. So we've got the equation of the curve, y equals x cubed minus 2x squared plus 10. But it would be really great to be able to work out the gradient of the curve at that point, because that would be that would give us the gradient of the tangent. So let's work out what dy by dx is. So dy by dx, the gradient function, would equal. So differentiate in this, so bring the 3 down, 3x, and reduce the power by 1, squared. And then next, bring the power down, so minus 4, 2 times 2 x and then reduce the power by 1, that'll be 1, so we're just going to write 4x and differentiate the 10 will be 0. So the gradient function dy by dx is equal to 3x squared minus 4x. Now we want to work out the gradient of the curve at the point 1, 9 because that'll be the gradient of the tangent at the point 1, 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this point 1, 9 and we see that x is equal to 1. So we're going to substitute x equals 1 into dy by dx and that will tell us the gradient of both the curve and the tangent. So Putting 1 into here would be 3 times 1 squared, subtract 4 times 1. Now remember the order of operations, squaring first, 1 squared is 1, times by 3 is 3. 4 times 1 is 4, so subtract 4. 3 take away 4 is minus 1. So that means that the gradient of the curve and the tangent at the point 1, 9 is equal to negative 1. Now we want to find the equation of the tangent, and that's a straight line. So the equation of the tangent is y equals mx plus c. And we know that the gradient is equal to negative 1. Now, I'm not going to write y equals minus 1x. I'm just going to write y equals minus x plus c. Now, to find the plus c, we're going to substitute in the point, the 1, 9, into that equation. And then we can work out what the value for c is. So we know x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 9. So 9 equals minus x. 
that's going to be minus 1 plus c. Adding 1 to both sides of the equation will give us 10 equals c. So c equals 10. So that means that the, the, if we put that back into our formula, this, the y equals minus x plus c, then that will give us y equals minus x plus 10. So the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 1, 9 would be equal to y equals minus x plus 10. Right, so let's have a look at one last example. So our last example says a curve is the equation y equals x bracket x squared minus 5. And we've been asked to work out the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where x equals 3. Now there's two different, there's two things that are slightly different in this question. One is the equation of the curve. We need to expand this out to begin with to get y equals x cubed minus 5x. And the second thing is in the question we weren't told the coordinate to where the tangent is to the curve, we've been just told the x value, x equals three. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna substitute this x equals three into this equation, and we're gonna work out what the y value is. So y equals three cubed subtract five times three. So y equals three cubed is 27, and five times three is 15, so y would be equal to 12. So that means that we're looking for the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point three, 12. Sometimes they will just give you the x value, so you have to find that y value later on whenever you want to find the plus c. Okay, so we've got the equation of the curve, y equals x cubed minus 5x, so we want to find the gradient function, dy by dx, so that we can substitute in the 3 and get the gradient of the tangent. So dy by dx differentiate, bring the 3 down, so that's going to be 3x and reduce the power by 1, squared. Differentiate minus 5x would just be minus 5. So dy by dx, the gradient function, is equal to 3x squared minus 5. Now we want to find the gradient of the tangent at the point where x equals 3. So we know that x equals 3, so we're going to substitute that into dy by dx. So that's going to give us 3 times 3 squared subtract 5. Now remember order of operations, 3 squared is equal to 9, times 3 is 27, and then take away 5 would be equal to 22. So that means the gradient of the curve and the gradient of the tangent at the point where x equals 3 is equal to 22. Now the equation of a tangent is a straight line, so it's y equals mx plus c. Now we know the gradient is equal to 22, so y equals 22x plus c. And the last thing we now need to do is to find the value for c. Now, to do that, we're going to substitute in a point where we know that the equation of the tangent passes through the point 3, 12. That's why I worked out that y value at the very beginning of the question, because at this point we need it. So x is equal to 3, and y is equal to 12. So substitute those in, will give us 12 equals 3 times 22, 3 times 20, or 22 times 3 is equal to 66 plus c. So we're now going to take away 66 from both sides of the equation. So 12 subtract 66 is equal to minus 54. So that means that C is equal to minus 54. So the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where X equals three will be Y equals 22 X minus 54.